Anytime that a mech game comes out, I feel the need to play it, and I'm always up to play new games from different developers to see how they take on the genre. This is what originally had me so eager to play the Arc System Works developed mech action game Damascus Gear Operation Osaka. Now, the game is available on Switch, and it seems like a good fit for the console hybrid. <laughs> Damascus Gear Operation Osaka throws you right into the scariest event imaginable, a large amount of debt. As the player, you inherit a mech in a garage along with a lot of debt that has to be paid back over 30 days. The game is set in a world that had once been taken over by berserk AI-controlled mechs known as Rage. After almost losing the battle, humans learn to use technology against the Rage with mechs known as Gears. After many years, humans reclaim parts of Japan, but the war is still going on underground. There's 30 days given to pay off your debt, and each day offers the player new things to do that will gain them money to put towards it and acquire new gear along the way. The premise is pretty zany, but there are moments in the story that have you wanting to know more. During these moments, you have this strange dream of a silhouette figure informing you of your importance to the cause, and it leads to some interesting realizations. Missions in the game have you gaining ranks as you complete them. The higher the rank, the larger the reward. Each mission plays out fairly similar, and to enjoy them, I would suggest you be open open-minded to dungeon crawlers. You see, players must descend floor by floor in the dungeon as they clear out rooms of mechs and collect items. Missions have several objectives that you need to complete by the time you exit, but this is something that usually happens by the end of the dungeon. By design, these dungeons can get extremely repetitive, as well as the enemies you face. Luckily, it's possible to lock onto enemies and dodge around their bullets, but most of these early missions won't pose too much of a threat. As you climb the ranks, missions do become harder, but they also get longer, which which requires the player to enjoy the dungeon crawling design. I felt that these missions were a little mindless as I traveled floor by floor clearing rooms of enemies, but I still had a decent amount of fun doing it. The best way to earn money in the game is through the arena. This is where you'll face off against a powerful mech and test out your abilities. While the first fights can feel more like an endurance contest, the arena battles toward the later levels do test your skills a bit more. The most interesting aspect of the game is the customization, which doesn't require any technical knowledge or skills to create some badass mechs. The customization features in the game are extremely approachable and easy to understand, which made it great for me to create a mech that fits my playstyle. The issues with the game stem from it having an identity crisis. There are moments when it focuses heavily on the story out of nowhere, and then simply wants you to run through floors and floors of dungeons as if you were playing Diablo. Shortly after, it turns into an arena fighter with battles that typically play out the same. There is an extreme lack of variety here, whether it be found in the levels or enemy types, and the game requires that you look past all of that until you get to the twists in the story, which are arguably the best part about the game. Also, I think the AI companion talks a little too much, especially when she says something over and over again. Domascus Gear Operation Osaka should be seen as a nice entry-level mech action game that takes away the complexity of other titles in the genre and presents something a little more approachable. It doesn't raise the bar for the genre, present anything too unique outside of a few good moments of the story, and simply comes off as average. The game was designed to be played on the go, and that's perhaps the best way to experience it. I would like to see more from the series and not just the port of the Vita version. The story and world created in this game deserves a new entry, and you can bet that I'll play it. Lazy Pixels give giving Damascus Gear Operation Osaka a 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.